Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and um, I asked you guys yesterday on my Instagram page if you wanted me to show you how I made this duct tape gun, and there was a good consensus for yes, so in today's video, since it's pretty much just duct tape, I'm going to show you guys how to make this shooting duct tape revolver. Let's get started. So for the duct tape gun, you are going to need duct tape obviously, make sure it's the real stuff, not the uh, dollar store duct tape, a pencil crayon or pencil for measuring, a shish kebab, or in this case I actually have a chopstick, an elastic, and some scissors. So for the first step, we are going to be making this barrel or I guess the main structure of the gun that goes all the way from here right back to here and it's one solid piece about the same length of your pencil crayon so to do this we're gonna rip three strips of duct tape the same length of, as your pencil crayon about that probably five inches or so and lay them face down on the table beside each other Now that you have that, take another piece of duct tape and rip it to the same length of three pieces wide around there somewhere and place it at the very top to hold them all together. Now to roll it into your main body, simply place your pencil crayon right about here and start folding it over let me get a bit closer for you guys. Start folding it over just like this and rolling it until it touches the other end. So to finish it off, take three pieces of duct tape, like so. Place some sticky side to sticky side. And by wrapping it around, It looks just like that. Now do it three times. And after removing the pencil crayon, you are left with your perfect barrel. Sorry, not your barrel, the piece that goes right under your barrel. Now, we are going to be making the cylinder and the handle, and what they are, are simply one length of this. So as you can see, you will need to make one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six cylinders here, along with for the handle, you will need one, not this, two, three, four, five, another six. So we need to make 12 of them. So to make one, simply do exactly what you did for the long piece by ripping around a five inch piece of duct tape. You can cut duct tape, but who actually does that? And then again, use your pencil crayon. This time you can just start from the bottom, work your way up. Try not to get it wrinkly like I do accidentally sometimes. This is hard when trying to explain in the video at the same time. And then again, rip a little piece and put it the other way. So there's one of the tubes and you have to make 12 of them. Now that you finally made all your cylinders, the first part you can make is your um, little six revolving thing. So to do that, put those aside for a second, uh, take your bigger piece and again, rip a strip of duct tape. You'll be hearing that a lot this video, about that big. Now place it anywhere on the tube so it's like non-sticky side to non-sticky side and roll it really loosely. Not loose enough so it's like super loose, but. So 
something like that's good. And the point is, is that you can spin it freely around the barrel or the body or whatever you want to call this. And then simply stick them on just like this. One, two, three, four. Make sure they're straight, which mine are getting a bit of wax, so I might have to fix that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then spread them out nice and evenly. Make sure they're all real straight. And there you have your spinning revolver thing. And to make it a bit sturdier, what I've done is just cut a half strip of duct tape and put it around like that. To make the handle, simply just take off your whatever that's called, barrel thing, revolver for now. And we're going to put one on top and the rest of the five on the bottom. These are your rema remaining cylinders, just like this. And put a strip of duct tape this way, all the way around. And then put one this way to cover up the holes if you want, it's optional. And then one more this way again to make it real sturdy. Now that the handle is completed, we have to make these two barrel segments there and there. So the first one is again a maybe half strip of duct tape, something like that. And so do the exact same thing we've always done to make a tube about that big. Connect it right here. And then the last segment is probably about three quarters of a strip of duct tape and connect it just onto the very end, both with little strips of duct tape and place this in between. Sorry, I forgot to mention that the barrel, just for clearance issues, has to be made out of, like rolled around something a bit bigger, such as this marker. Reason being is so that it has an easy path all the way from here to here. So make sure to roll this little piece on top of something a bit bigger. When putting in these pieces that you just created, it is important to make sure everything lines up. So put, put a pencil crayon through the handle first, then through the little piece you created, then through one of the cylinders of the revolving barrels, and then through the final barrel. As you can see, it all lines up perfectly now. And just use two strips of duct tape to keep them on. And make sure there's a little bit of gap between the revolving cylinder and that so it can move freely. To finish off the body, the only non-duct tape component we are going to be using is this cut off pencil crayon and simply shove it down here. Optional, of course, this is just to add some stability. As you can see now, it doesn't bend at all, and there's your moving cylinders. Last step of your duct tape gun is to make the firing rod right there. So to do this, take your chopstick in this case, wide end at the back of course, overhang about a centimeter, and you're going to want to make it go to around halfway down the cylinders. So cut them off right about there doll scissors I tell you as you can see fits in there nicely got a bit of hangy down tape fix that in a sec and then choose your elastic something like this should do take it out put your elastic on the back of the stick and secure it this way with duct tape. There it is inserted in there and I've simply wrapped the elastic around the handle and crisscrossed it back over and to fire, pull it back, let go. You can't switch the cylinders with it forward so you have to pull it back to revolve the cylinders and shoot again. Let's do some shooting tests. For ammo, just use anything that fits inside of the revolver barrel suck snugly. And uh, I've, I've used some cut up pencil crayons, even though sharpened dowels would work much better. Let's load them up.
Here we go, duct tape gun shooting test. I'm just going to shoot that little wall over there because why not. Line up the cylinders. Here we go. Pull it back. Revolve the cylinders. Obviously it's made out of duct tape so it gets a little sticky at times. No pun intended. Just a prototype, you got to make sure barrels are all lined up at all times. The key is to make sure that all of the barrels are lined up so that nothing gets jammed because what sometimes happens is the rod gets jammed right in between these two. It's hard to prevent but uh, let's try again, hopefully it doesn't happen this time. There we go. So, with a bit of work, lots of adjusting is required, but it's pretty cool. Works very well, actually. So, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know. I could possibly make some more rifle versions or something in the future. And uh, subscribe to help me reach 100,000. I'm real close. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.